allow me to welcome them to the stage. You know her from Spy X Family, from Overlord. You know him from Five Nights at Freddy's. And you know them both from My Hero. Allow me to welcome to the stage Megan Schumann and Kellen Gunn! Are you out there? Yeah. 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 Awesome. So, so it's a pleasure to be sharing the, the stage with y'all today. Um, how are y'all enjoying the battle so far? It's great. It's great. Have y'all been here before? No. What's the, the deepest south y'all have been here? Here. Well, welcome, welcome. Uh, you know, the 956 family is here to share some love to y'all. Um, but uh, let's get down to it. I have, I have a question for both of y'all that I wanted y'all to open with. Um, let's start off with the main, the main course. You know, we have My Hero Academia. We have Overhaul and LaBrava joining us on the stage yes. right now. And, you know, as, as the, the title of the panel says, you two are villains, or at least started off like mainly as an antagonizing force. We prefer heroes of our own story. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then my first question was, your two characters don't necessarily get to interact very much, if at all. No, yeah. If, if at all, yeah. No. And, and um, I want to ask each one of you, like, how do you think your interaction would be, and what would that necessarily well, tell? You know, considering we just were on 7-Eleven, so I don't think we're on the same <laughs> wavelength. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think our, uh, our crime's quite... Are in the same echelon. No, <laughs> no, they're like, oh, we robbed a Seven Eleven, and he he ha ha put it on YouTube. Was it literally a Seven Eleven? Yeah, I mean, it was a, like, it was a okay. combini, but because sometimes they do those tie-ins. Like, <laughs> JJK references brands all the time. <laughs> that would be. I wish it was a real Seven Eleven, <laughs> but they're just like, we robbed the convenience store. Yeah. Yeah, take that, YouTube. <laughs> I would probably or overhaul would probably shake his head and go, no. you could do so much better. So much, so much potential. If, well, there was wag, it, wag his finger at you. Huh? Exactly, there, there, there was that one moment where um, the introduction of overhaul, he just like took out those those villains that robbed the convenience store, they robbed yeah. like, a fridge and stuff, yeah. so you know, maybe gentlemen and LeBravo would be at the receiving end of yeah. something like that, set the 7 weapon on fire, do, do a really nice. Yeah, they're not quite at that level. Not the special effects for that yeah. department. Um, but I, I have questions, of course. But ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that if you text the number on the screen back here, you can actually submit questions directly to this iPad right here. So if you have questions wow. for our beautiful guests right here, make sure to text that number and submit your questions to us. It's like a Twitch. <laughs> yeah, like a Twitch screen. Sup, How chat. we feel the chat? How we feel the chat? How we feel the chat? <laughs> He's the mod. Yeah, you're our mod, you know. You're our green sword. You're banned. Yeah. You're banned. You're banned. Ban him. Um, but but, but uh, another question I have for y'all is um, if you could both just share a little, a little bit of like you know insight on how your career started. Um, I guess we can start with you. I know yeah. you, you started you know you were, your your career is like a, a choir teacher, correct? Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it didn't last very long. <laughs> um, you know, but it it sure left me with crippling anxiety. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> so, scars. Scars have lingered. That's fine. I have therapy. It's great. Um, but no, it, I, yeah, I, I started voice acting in college. Um, I was kind of, I always tell people, don't do what I did. <laughs> like, don't, don't voice act. Don't do what I did. No, don't do what I did, because I just literally, like, I'm the epitome of, like, I just fell into doing this because I got stupid lucky. And then I was good enough that they were like, yeah, you're pretty good at this, kid. <laughs> Most yeah. of the, I, I feel like we're all yeah. sort of. Yeah, so I, I started doing it in college, and I live in Dallas, so that's why I just I started at Country Girl. Like, that was just how I started. I got really lucky in that sense. I mean, before that, I was doing, like, like covers and things with my friends for fun, and just, you know, just doing whatever to be, have a hobby, you know, in college as an introvert, um, <laughs> but, you know. And, but you, you know, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so then I uh, 
yeah, then I graduated and I was still doing it, moved back to Dallas, and then, uh, yeah, and then I just, I taught for three years and then I quit, so I was like, well, this sucks. And then I, <laughs> and then I kept going. But I also tell people that, like, I have a wonderful husband who uh, has a real job. <laughs> and, he, and he's not a creative. No? No. Oh, yeah, no, he's not. No, he's definitely not, which definitely gives me an edge in, like, the, like, I can kind of do things yeah. for myself, and he's like, it's okay, we still have money. <laughs> like, we're not poor. I met him so, briefly. He's, he's, he's wonderful. He's a good, he's a good being. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's kind of how I got started, and I just couldn't go like, I tell you, it's like a snowball. It's just a big snowball effect. And now here I am, with Kellen. I, I met you at a ramen restaurant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like you came to Dallas and then. Uh, oh yeah. 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 I just like I just like got invited and I was like, yeah, I'm telling all the hang out. <laughs> I was literally coming to record over all that. Yeah. Funimation. Yeah. 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 Um, Super fun. So. I started on the internet, as all, you know, cool, well-adjusted people do. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> us. Uh, that's us. Um, and uh, I would make animations for, like, YouTube and all that, and we would voice act for each other's stuff. Yeah. I was doing theater at the time as well, and I thought, huh, oh, if this is a viable career, maybe I could chase it. So I, I started cutting my teeth a bit when I was 13, and then... Um, at 16, took my first workshop, and they taught me that voice acting is acting, not voices. See, I, I love like, how you, I love you did that, and I'm just like, I don't know, I just read words. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I didn't take any we all have our own processes, no shame. Yeah, I'm a, uh, um, yeah. but I'm a late then, bloomer actor, you know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of us are. Um, but uh, I uh, came up on like the voice acting club, like a lot of us, yeah. um, and uh, eventually I booked my first big role, uh, Fun Time Freddy, in uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister location. Yeah. And uh, yeah, whoop. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's been magic since Snowball, like you said. Yeah. And uh, we have like. Bunch of questions from, yes, from yes. the audience. So yeah. many, so many. Um, here's the first one for, for both of you. Um, if you could voice any other villain or hero in the show, who would it be and why? That's a toughie because like I everybody know you does be it. Yeah. Just a minute. No, we would just switch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Switch. My my coat's warmer. I guarantee. Oh yeah. I got yeah. The, the got insulation. Gloves. We got gloves. I got I got gloves. In fact, yeah. I don't take off my gloves. Have you seen and, the, Have you seen Gentle and the Bravo in a, in their disguises? In their disguises. She wears big old sunglasses and like a big oh, hat yeah. and, you and never tell big old story. fur coat, like They're the most adorable. inconspicuous. <laughs> it's time yeah. to spill the tea. Yeah. <laughs> I love them, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I'd be. It, it's tough because everybody does them so well. Yeah. So we couldn't uh, dare dream of. Doing I wanna be I wanna be all night. I'm just okay. you know, I think Chris is over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joke. Chris has had too good too long. Yeah. How <laughs> dare he maybe it's turn. I you know, I should be thanking him because I I left all my markers at home or not well not at home, but in the hotel oh, and right. I stole all of his markers. He usually so brings he, like five sets. Oh yeah, yeah. They were like, We have an extra set, just take I was like, Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> At the end mm -hmm. of uh, cons, you want to be by his table because he's like, "All right, who wants them? I'm not taking them on the plane." Yeah, yeah, it's um, good stuff. I want to be calm and just because uh, he's a big old retriever yes. and he's got electric powers. Yeah, that's personally my favorite. <laughs> if I were to be anyone, it would literally be Tom and Archie. Yeah, it was a, we we had a joke for a while that it was so funny because all of the UA kids kept getting Funko Pops. Except for Denki. Yeah. And so we would always joke with Kyle and be like, still no Denki, huh? So when he finally got a pop, we were like, you did it, kid. You made it. No okay. <laughs> <laughs> with bottom lip quiver. No pop. No pop. Now, so no, oh. now that's me with Spy Family. Oh, no pop. Well, Peace. I, was, I know. We always joke now uh, that. Uh, 
Me and Natalie go out and made this Funko Pop before they made Spy Family, and my favorite one was Cocaine Bear. <laughs> like from the movie Cocaine Bear. Yeah. Um, and they, we, we saw that they were like, here's the Cocaine Bear Funko Pop, and I was like, are you kidding me right now? Listen, <laughs> when we're on Freddy, my, my main Freddy Fazbear nowadays is, uh, even has a Funko Pop. Oh, come so, on. He's come on, Funko. He's glam rock Freddy. I know, he's iconic. He'd be the coolest of all the Freddies. I mean, I, I'll say this one last thing, we can move on. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, Chris, Chris Bevan's uh, <laughs> voice is one of uh, the 1AM. He was uh, the tape guy. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah, and he is the new Kyle. We, Sarah has not gotten a pop. <laughs> so. Poor kid. No, poor poor kid. Is he, though? We like the polar bear. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's so easy. It is, it's true. But we love him, and he, he fights back. Him. So He does, he does fight back, so it's fine. And, and speaking of, you know, you, you're, you're, you're talking about like all these different like um, actors that you, you know, had a, many associations with. Um, how has it been for the moments where you do get to interact with like fellow voice actors for the show? Like, is there any moments that stand out like, oh my god, when I met this person, it was so cool? My, when I met Kellen, <laughs> he was so fun and awkward, and then he didn't remember I met him. At the ramen shop. I have a really bad <laughs> Me too. Long term recall is very hard. No, it's fine. You're just like Colin in that sense. He's oh, husband. Yeah. Husband is not a good remember. I'm like, how do you not remember this? And he's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I literally have like thousands of notes on my phone <laughs> that are uncategorized. So I like, try and remember stuff that never works. No, I, I will say, I think me and John, because John, who's the voice of Gentle Criminal, um, the one thing I remember is we met because we were doing like a behind the scenes on screen recording thing that they were doing. Yes. And so we recorded this whole thing about like Gentle and La Brava in a random office that they just had decked out. And then like literally two days later they were like, so everything's closed. Uh, maybe like, maybe like two weeks guys. Oh. <laughs> and then two yeah. weeks what? turned to like... Wow. Two years, so you know. Oh, no. <laughs> How fun! <laughs> so that was really great. Yeah. <laughs> Glad yeah. we met before all that happened. Yeah, I mean, I Crazy. want to form the human connection. Yeah. Human yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. They're all great. That was that was a wild time. I did that one with uh, Brian. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. It's me, Justin <laughs> Brian. <Breiner. laughs> oh. <laughs> himself because truly this boy is a mess um he he didn't have a driver's license for like a year and also he can't go to he can't go to international conventions until next year because he didn't report his passport as missing because he left it in an uber and <laughs> then he tried to get another one and they're like well no we're not you didn't report it, so we're not just gonna give you another passport. That's not how it works. Oh, oh shucks, guys. Oh man, shucks. I, I guess I can't go. I guess I can't go to Canada. Oh well. I'll just stay home. So yeah, ask, and next time you see Justin, just be like, man, I'm so sorry you can't go to Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Diving a little more into your experience with my hero, um, what has been your favorite episode of film? Yeah. I love the new stuff we just got to do. I mean, I love the old new stuff, stuff too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm kicking. Yeah, that's right. I'm kicking around. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm, not, I'm not silly like someone else. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, all he can do is kick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, like the new stuff was really great because it was like this really cool redemption arc for Gentle specifically. And yeah, and it's just so sweet. And, I mean, they were really sweet in the original like mini arc that they had. Also, everyone, I have to say like, 
you made it a hard act to follow that season because like everyone was like, <laughs> everyone was like, wow, I love Gentle and the Bravo. Or they were like, who are these goofballs? This is ridiculous. I'm like, guys, people die. Like, <laughs> we need a break. Like, can we just, they're yeah. like, these are too goofy. I'm like, guys, I need a, we need a break. We need a yeah, little brevity here. <laughs> we need some filler. We need some filler, <laughs> need some filler like happy, fun, ha 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 he he time. Everyone's times. singing dance. Everyone's singing dance, go band. Hey, we were, we were trying, we were kicking Deku's butt. So I don't know. It, so did y'all, so did y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, my favorite part, it, Overhaul at first, his whole, throughout the episodes, he like started down here, and then he slowly just rose up into the screaming and everything. Yeah. So I kind of like it when it was back down here, and I, I, there was a lot more nuance to it. I, no, I was think, more I, I like the screaming. I, I, you know what? Do, do more screaming. You can have. Do more screaming. No. <laughs> but, no. But thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, right? I will say, yeah. Natalie, she's star and stripe now, and woof. I know woof, I know woof, but she was like, woof, a, as in, that's a heavy. I know, but she load. she did yeah. so good, but she was also like, I'm so glad it was literally like two episodes, because she's like, I got to have a really cool fight, I got to scream and do cool things, but then that's it, yep. <laughs> no yep. more. <laughs> and I'm like, that's pretty good. That that's pretty what good. I mean. So. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I like the stuff when I was like, you know, trying to one up an alpha Shigaraki a bit. Because I had already <laughs> met Vale, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I have motivation. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You always have to one up Vale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was like your favorite, what has been your favorite line as a character that just kind of resonates with you and kind of sticks with you and repeats over and over in your head? I don't know if it's a line. Um, I just, more so like the overall theme of Gentle and La Brava is so wonderful in terms of um, them just being the right people for each other. Like they just are each other's people. And I think that's such a really sweet theme, especially when you first meet them and you, you get to see like how Gentle is like, I mean, Listen, I'm not gonna lie. La Bravo is a little, sh a little strange girl. Like she's, <laughs> she just shows up on this man's doorstep. Is like, I love watching you on YouTube. <laughs> can I be your, can I be your channel manager? <laughs> Sounds like a thought. <laughs> yeah, it's like a thought. Um, but they're so sweet, and I, I think one of my favorite moments is because she's, he sees her, kind of freaking out about like, because she doesn't like the way she looks because of her like dark circles around her eyes, and so one of my favorite moments is. He shows up to breakfast one morning and he has just drawn circles around his eyes. And so that's why they have the same eyes. What a sweet heart. I know, it's so cute. I just I love that about them. They they are like ride or die for each other. And I think that's so sweet. Yeah. Um my favorite was uh, and this is what everyone has me write on, uh a, a, uh a goal without a plan is just a wish. And that's like really good advice from a dad too. So it's, like, <laughs> it's like melancholy. Yeah, it's like, that's good advice. You should definitely put that on like a Snapple lid. Yeah, um, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deep cuts, you know. Um, yeah, I know. very deep. Like, yeah, I know. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he, he followed that. It didn't really work out. Mm -hmm. He followed it. He, he followed his own advice. He didn't have a plan. He did indeed have a plan. Yeah. Um, and speaking of plans, um, what was one role that, you know, kind of came across your way and shifted the, the entire, like, tone and momentum of your career? Like, what would you say was that pinnacle moment and your feelings toward it? There was this little girl named Anya. I know, it's crazy. And <laughs> now she's everywhere. Crazy. You had a tie-in with freaking, uh, <laughs> uh, what is it, uh, Kura? Yeah. Yeah. I ate so much sushi. <laughs> oh, man, that's good there about sushi. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, oh, it's so good. And it's not like the best sushi, but it's good. It's it great. scratches my sushi itch when you know I just what? want sushi. It's great here. I like it more here than in California. Oh, is it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 It just If it's protein, it just tastes better here. Um, it's because we're cool here. Yeah, you um, don't have to spice stuff. 
Yeah, and exactly. Marinate. Yeah. And, um, what was the question? <laughs> uh, oh, change the change the course. course. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, Anya was crazy because I mean, I, it, you never know how big a show is going to be until it's kind of just in the hands of the public. Um, like, and it could even be big in Japan, but over here it might not be a big deal. So you really just don't know. Um, and they kind of had inklings that that would be a big deal, and they were kind of telling us behind us, they were like, mm -hmm, it might be a big deal. I, I love when they called us, they, when we got cast, they never do this, they called us, and they were like, you're not going anywhere, right? And I said, well, I'm going to Disney World for a vacation, does that count? They went, anyway. we'll make it work, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, I'm going but, for a whole week. <laughs> which is tough when you're on assignment, though. Yeah, so. but luckily it was like, Tuesday to Wednesday or something, so like I was able to still sneak in for a day, you know, it was weird, but, but yeah, no, that show's crazy, because it, it, it's, it's crazy, because you could do this for so many, there's people that have been doing this and have so many credits for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of credits, and they go in and they work so regularly, but it, sometimes it's like one character is like the thing, yeah, yeah I'd say it's crazy. Yeah. And that's just how it is. That's part of the luck, I guess, of this whole weird business. Yeah. But I honestly don't care because, like, as long as I'm working, I'm like, I'm a success. So even, like, before I had Anya, and, like, I was like, I don't really, I'm working, and that's successful to me. Sure. But I know optics matter to people. They bring you to these. They bring you to these, and I get to have, have fun, and I get to travel and eat yummy food. Yes. Like, <laughs> and tamales in the house? Yes! I love tamales! I, someone just had their first tamale. One of the handlers had their first tamale. Really? Yeah, I was like, your life is about to change forever. <laughs> in the best way possible. <laughs> it was great. Anyways, what's your so, character? Uh, probably, I mean, Freddy sort of changed the course of my career. I was just doing like small, like little mobile games and whatever I could find uh, before that. And then, uh, people started to look at me after that, but, um, I mean, overhaul in a sense, it was my first big anime role, that, it, like, I had only maybe done one incidental before, mm -hmm. and it was, I was just Walla, and then Colleen booked me as, uh, overhaul, and suddenly the floodgates opened. Yeah, because um, then people go, oh, you can do that thing? You, you exist. You, you do that thing good? Okay, now we're all gonna use you. Like, yeah. That's the, that's yeah. the, the and pattern. that's fine. That, that's just the way the business yeah. is. Um, yeah, I, I, w I would say uh, those two. Um, getting to be in the Five Nights movie as well was pretty yeah. pretty big. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 being on the big screen, it just it, it's hard for it to click. Like I was just in um, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, or, or what, what's it called, A Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. You were in that? Yeah, I played uh, the gorilla noises of Silver. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah. I was like, wait, were you in it or were you like a CGI monkey? <laughs> they, they pasted me in one frame uh, in Microsoft. Did they just put glasses on a monkey and go, <laughs> Skellen! He's the gorilla! <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, I want to do that now. Yeah. Just, just a bit of a curveball question from the audience. Um, what would you both answer to this? Do, do fish get thirsty? Do fish get thirsty? <laughs> Ooh. Fish drink? I mean, they must. <laughs> must they? They must, because it. They breathe. I mean, yes, but the. Do we drink air? No, kill. <laughs> Biology was a. Uh, yeah. Them. I don't know. Uh, Biology I'm gonna, philosophy. I'm gonna say they don't get thirsty. Yeah. They're always I mean, drinking. Yeah. I mean, I, well, except if they're, you know, out of water. Well. That's sad, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, the question! <laughs> um, and, um, just to get back on track, uh, what would you say is a character outside of My Hero that would fit into the world of My Hero? So if you had the chance to bring someone in, or maybe someone that doesn't belong here, who would you want to bring in? <laughs> someone that doesn't belong. Oh, totally One of these belong things is not like the other. Um, hmm. I was gonna say, if, if, I would bring in someone that does belong. Saitama would be pretty funny. I think you should know. bring in Freddy. <laughs> yeah, Freddy would not belong. <laughs> he goes, or, 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 or. 
I guess, for, but only when he's jump scared. But so only, but only to scare you. It's more like a JoJo stand. It's like he can, he can only teleport behind someone yeah. when they're not looking at him. Yeah, and, and they have to be in the process of turning around. Yeah, it's they very look, specific. Can't look at them. They have to be turned around. And yeah. 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 What about you? Um. Oh my God. I don't know. Um. I mean, like everyone in Spy Family would just go into my hero and be like, yes, this is my power now. Yeah. Yeah, that's an easy answer. What would you say on this point of view? Maybe she would I mean, she's tele telepathy. Yeah, I mean, she's telepathic, so... The interesting one, though, is like Lloyd and Lloyd. I have the easy... I get all the easy answers about Spy Family. Like, Alex and Matt, I don't have to answer all the hard questions. It's funny. Um, but like, your, I think we've said, like, Super strength, in a sense, um, and then like comedic super strength. Yeah, she's only strong when it's funny. Yeah, or she's. We I think we also said she's only strong when she's really anxious, <laughs> which would be really funny. Um, yeah, like she just gets so worked up, and that's the only time she's when she's nervous. She's she's like an inch tall. Yeah, yeah, and then I mean Lloyd would have like I don't know. I feel like he just have like super high IQ. I mean, he already does, because he's making all these crazy plans. But, yeah. yeah. Um, and this next question is specifically for Kellen. So how, how did you approach voicing a villainous character? You know, you're doing your, your, your fun oh, time ready, and you're like really high up here, and then you're bringing it really, really, really low, like you were saying, for overhaul. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, you know, it's easier and harder with anime. Because when somebody has already done the groundwork, the challenge is to honor the original performance while keeping it your own. And I took a lot of cues from uh, uh, Kendra Masuda-san. Um, he, uh, he is an amazing uh, voice actor and did great work with Overhaul. Um, but I feel like anybody can scream but like, if you scream too much, that gets to be a lot and, and boring and stuff. But the real intrigue comes with the entire emotional spectrum. And, and um, it's always been really interesting to me uh, to see the many different kinds of ways that someone can be menacing at just this right now, you know? There, there's different auras you can put on. It's hard to explain, but... Um, a lot of it, too, is uh, with the writing. Uh, the, the writing was fantastic, and it, um, and it lended really well to the character, gave me a lot of cues there. Yeah, um, good answer, good answer. And Megan, how did you get into the mindset for, like, um, I guess, representing or voicing a child? Like, how, how was it bringing yourself to that child, level? A child, a child, I'm a child. Um, like that, I am a child. Um, <laughs> no, I tell people, I, I am a very... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just a. I'm a goofy gal. I feel like the more people get to know me, like as I, you know, as we we see each other more, and as we go to cons, like I'm just a goofy person. I feel like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a silly girl. I'm like, loopy. Little loopy, yeah. little crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, you should have seen me last night. I just quick side note. I was. Oh. I couldn't sleep last night because I was. I was crying, laughing at all the videos of Frankie Valli on TikTok. Oh my god, we were just talking about that today. <laughs> and he looks like yeah. a broken Chuck E. Cheese yeah. animatronic. When, yeah, when, when um, He's this 90 year old man and he's like, Sherry. Like, like poor guy, he, he's had this amazing legacy. He's I amazing. Hope, I really hope he wants to keep performing. <laughs> so if it's his, if it's, if it's his decision, good on him. Good on him, yeah. but man, he But looks, I love all the memes with it, and I'm he sure looks he like, at it He too. looks like he's seeing the Grim Reaper. Like, I don't know. The, but yeah. The, um, the um, subtitle that's like, <laughs> me coming in at 5 a.m. after two hours of sleep to all the, Yeah, me having to millen- open my shift, you know? Yeah, yeah, with all my millennial coworkers. Oh my god, it's so funny. Um, Gen Z coworkers. Yeah. Yeah. That's so silly. 
three of us. We're, we're not like the other kids. Yeah, how dare we be born in the 90s? How dare us? We're the worst. Um, but you know, I, I like to think I'm just a goofy person. I'm very, I like very cute, childish things. Like I, I have lots of Anya figures. I have figures of some of my favorite characters. I, I don't know, I just, I you love- You like them so much you make one. I made, I, I did? Yeah. I did, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I did. Daughter. I do have an actual baby. It's why I wasn't here last year. I was way too pregnant. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't. Congratulations, I'm gonna sit, by the way. Thanks. I was like, I'm gonna sit on this couch until I pop. <laughs> and that's what I did. Can't relate, except at Thanksgiving. Yeah, no, it's pretty similar. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, and now I have a kid, which is fun. Um, she's crazy. Um, and I just think, I think about myself as a kid, and I go, oh, God, no. And my mom goes, ha, 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 I'm like, yeah, okay, mom, thanks. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I'm, I'm a goofy person. I love being silly and goofy and getting to do all the fun things like that. So, yeah. And, and you know, you are talking about, like, you, know, you, just, you had your daughter and yeah. stuff. Like, how would, you, how would you both say that your initial, like, you know, auditioning or work progress or work week um, compares to what it looks like now? Oh, boy. Um, I, some, I, like I said, uh, don't do what I do. Sometimes I'm very forgetful. Like, uh, your, your brain scientifically shrinks when you have a baby. What does that mean? Yeah, that's why pregnant women are like, I can't find anything. I can't. There are some days I put my phone down. Every time I put it down, I go, where did it go? And I, and I can't, but it's like excessive. It's not like two times. It's like 20 billion times in a day. And I get so mad at myself. It's like right in front of you. Yes. You're just yes. It's, it's the worst. Um, but yeah, no, I, I try my best to remember that I have auditions that are due. Yeah, it's hard. And then I come here and I go, please stop sending me auditions. I'm not at home. Because I also, I'm like, I, I can't be, bo I know a lot of people do this, and this may be like so stupid of me, but I just can't be bothered to bring like a recording set up with me to hotels to like do auditions that I get. There are some people who will bring like full-fledged Sennheiser 357s no. that no. are like these two no. mics that they are supposed to use for boom on, on no. set. Um, I, I, they've gotten smaller though. I have this little DJI thing I can clip on me and it, it's pretty good. Oh fun, TikTok I'll, I'll just go it. buy that from, I'll, I'll buy that off your Amazon. <laughs> the joke is, every time Kellen has a cool gadget, I go, what is that Kellen? And he goes, it's this, and then I immediately go buy it. <laughs> so now I like have a lot of the same stuff you have. You, you have a voice thingy, a voice amplifier. Yeah, I have a voice amplifier. I bought the same noise canceling headphones you have. The, uh, yeah, the oh, they're yeah. so great. And then I bought, and I think Natalie bought them too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I bought um, I bought the hard case to put on my electronics. I just I bought it. I told you to make an Amazon <laughs> list so you could get like an affiliate, <laughs> like your yeah, Amazon yeah. storefront. Amazon wish list. Yeah, yeah, Amazon storefront. The idea of being an influencer is so intimidating and, and uh, scary to me, though. No, it's awful. Yeah. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> I, I would say work week for me, I, it, it's pretty similar. I get booked more now, thank goodness. Um, and we try to, you know, fit them wherever we can. But a lot of my weekends, like I did 25 or 23 of these last year through yeah. of these cons. Me too. And that mm -hmm. takes it out of you energy-wise, switching yeah. your time zone constantly yeah. and talking. And for, just traveling. Yeah, and exactly. having a social battery, and it, and it dries out your throat, and then talking for like eight to nine hours. Not to complain about this in the slide. I know, right? Like you oh, guys are amazing. God, and I, love I hate this. Here. I hate you, this easy, fun like, job I get to do. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I adore I love people it. who like what I do, but it does. It this does. is all to say it makes me raspy. Because we're human. We're we're human. We're yes. human. And it's for, like well, you're. Human. I'm, I don't know. Are you a bionic? I'm a cryptid. Oh, you're a cryptid, that is so true. I am un unclassified. <laughs> you are unclassified. Spotted. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. a Sasquatch. Yeah, but oh. no, it is, it is crazy because your social battery gets drained. Sometimes you get auditions and you're like, oh cool, okay, I got this on Friday. And then it's not due till next Tuesday, so I'll do it when I get home. And then I forget because I've been here all and weekend. And then suddenly it's next Tuesday. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. 
Um, or sometimes, sometimes it sucks because I'm a mom and very rarely I'll get like rush auditions where they're like, oh my God, we need this by like four. But do the cries ruin tape? No, no, she's pretty good. She sleeps, she sleeps good. I know I'll either record while she's napping at daycare or just at like 12 o'clock at night. Um, yeah. Where I'm not sleeping. Yeah. But she, yeah, is. Yeah. So <laughs> um, it's a never ending cycle. It's not, even, it's not even the recording that's the hardest part, it's the finding the time to edit. Oh yeah, I'm very basic. Mm. I don't edit. <laughs> I don't, I get, well, sometimes I'll edit the silences and I'll kind of just be like, boop, 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 all done, whatever. I'm just, get out of here. I'm so indecisive. I, I, it has to be perfect mm -hmm. and I need to stop because you that's gotta stop. Thing. You're killing yourself, I know, man. I, know. I see people that are like, I take an hour for my. I'm like, no. Stop it. It's just. It, I need to stand over your shoulder and be like, it's fine. That would be lovely. It's fine. It, it's just really tough for me to. I, I always want to put my best foot forward. Yeah. You know, and I if that doesn't come out, I want to make it come over, out again. Yeah, and over the years, my mindset around auditions has kind of shifted where I, I go, I'm doing it like I would do it if I booked the gig. So like, I don't know what else they, what I else I could do. So that, I feel like that, when I finally, that clicked in my head, I feel like that helped me just speed things up. Cause I'm like, it's fine. You're not, you're not putting, you're not not putting an effort. So yeah. Autism doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> no, Don't worry, I'll just text, I'll make a reminder in my phone. I'll just text you and be just like, the, audi the, yeah, the audition is fine, Kellen. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> It's you, fine, I promise. No, just text me at random intervals. I'm like in the shower. You're like, it's fine. You're done. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. Send it. Send it out. Forget about it. Okay. All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, I still have conditioner in my hair. Cool. Done. Look, I'm all done. Great. And, uh, you know, y'all two are bouncing out of each other, like, uh, amazingly. But let me let me put a little wall between okay. that. And, uh, Get away from me. Yeah, Perfect. so I, yeah. what I want you to do is, um, Kelly, I, Let's say you're in the My Hero universe. I want you to come up with a quirk for yourself, but Megan, I want you to come up with a weakness or like some sort of butt to his quirk. <laughs> and then the yeah, same thing. Vice <laughs> <laughs> and then vice versa. Um, I've always wanted to have electrokinesis, um, just like full, like like thank you. But I feel like the the funny answer is something that um, either Karbaski or or. Alexis came up with, uh, or uh, Brina, and that's to be able to put a fart wherever you want in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, not the sound, but like the... The, the, the emanation. The smell. <laughs> no sound, just... Yeah, so what's the weakness to that? Of putting a fart anywhere in the world? Anywhere in the world, yeah. Um, you, every time you do it, you still have to smell it. <laughs> Do, does anyone hate the smell of their own fart? But it's not your own fart. It's not your own fart. You're stealing it from a different. Yeah. Person. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's not I would never use that. Well, that's the weakness. So if you you gotta really want it, okay? You gotta really. It has to be a, a very very bad situation where a fart will save the the, the world. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Bad. So and it doesn't matter if it's a million miles away. You have to smell a fart while you send a fart into the world. See, <laughs> if you never have to fart and you don't feel it anymore. I would never you know use that. You know what? Or I would like, I would put like a clothespin on my nose all the time. No, or you smell it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It's, it, it's, it teleports within my nasal cavity. Yes. It's what you can taste. Evil. You can taste it. <laughs> No, you said, listen, no, that was my job. Conditions. <laughs> my turn for weakness. What would I do? Um, I would want, I would want the power to like, I, I would love to have, it's hard because there's two of them that I want. I'm like, ooh, that would be good and that would be good. I said two. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I would love the power to, you know, like, um, like Violet in um, The Incredibles, she has like, yeah, yeah, force field. yeah like force field and stuff, that would be cool, but also just like the ability to, for short periods of time, like, change how I look, like, just like shape shift in okay. a sense. Okay. But not to like an animal, but like into like a person or something. If I needed something. All right. So the weakness for the force fields is it always smells like farts. Then <laughs> else's farts. I do it. You'd still do it. I do it. Would breathe in someone else's farts. Listen, I think we've all been crop dusted. I'm not alone in this. You been... alone in this. <laughs> <laughs> you got the audience on your side. That's right. Um, That's for... the most important part. For looking like someone else, yeah. uh, your daughter chooses what you look like. <laughs> yeah! Well, right she, now. She has to draw it in crayon on a paper. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 would look like, um, I, would, I, I would look like from Spy Kids. I'd look like the floop. The, the floops, floop, please. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like the body horror, like, yes. like with the giant hands coming out of my head. Wait, I, I guess that would work if you wanted to scare someone. Yeah, to come to your house. Sign on you just see me as a, as a, I, I would be a cryptid and I'd be like, it's fine, Devin. It's in the audition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I would say, food is a nightmare, help us. Save us. Help us save us. <laughs> um, but I wish that's all that time we have for today, but is there anything that y'all want to shout out? Any projects that you can talk about? Well, eventually, season three of Spy Family is going to come out. They, they're making it, so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm also in a, it's a weird but cool show called Bye Bye Earth. Um, it's, it wrapped up, but there's going to be a second season of it. It's really weird, but it's cool. Um, yeah, it's just really interesting. Every time I record, I'm like, what am I saying? Like, what are these words? Like, it's very odd, and then the director, Lee, goes, I'm going to need you to watch the show. And I go, Lee, I don't have time. <laughs> this is me watching the show. But yeah, I play I play the lead girl. Her name's Belle. She's she's crazy, and she's really fun because she's a character that I I don't always get to voice these types of characters where it's um, more like my natural voice, or I get to be like kind of the wow. like more of like the tough girl, not just like the I'm a cute girl. Da -da 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 -da. Um, and those are really fun. So she does lots of fighting. She has a really big sword. Okay. Yeah. Sounds cool. Yeah. And what about yourself, Dan? Um, there's an anime we're currently uh, simuldubbing uh, coming out right now, uh, Tower of God Season 2. Uh, I get to play Novik in that, and I'm having a lot of fun with him because he's like the older brother that gets flustered easy. That's cute. Yeah, I know. And, and AJ Beckles. Uh, uh, plays the the kid who's just like too cool. He's like Sasuke. He always goes uh, ahead. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, too Run! Cool. No. Too yeah. cool for school, man. Yeah. 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 Like him. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Yay! ladies and gentlemen. Please give a warm round of applause to Megan Shipman and Kevin Bob. They're going to be at the table. They want to see you and they're going to see you for the rest of the day. So please, please go ahead and check them out. One more round of applause, everybody.